Welcome back everyone to Learning the Wires. Unreal Engine 5.6 is finally here and it's packed with game changing features that will have developers, real time creators and gamers jumping out of their seats. Today we are breaking down the biggest and most exciting new additions in UE 5.6. From blazing performance boosts to brand new tools that truly put more power in your hands. If you thought 5.5 was impressive, just wait till you see what 5.6 brings to the table. Let's dive right in. On screen now, you can see an incredible tech demo where over 1700 dynamic lights fill a massive hall and Unreal Engine 5.6 handles it like a champ. This is thanks to an experimental new rendering tech like Mega Lights that lets scenes use thousands of lights without tanking its performance. Unreal 5.6 focuses heavily on optimization, meaning vast open worlds now run smoother than ever. Epic's been pushing for a consistent 60 FPS target even in massive high fidelity environments. Think about that, a huge open world game running smooth on next gen consoles and high end PCs. That's a huge win, especially for VR projects and developers out there, where low frame rates break immersion. To make this leap, Epic upgraded Lumen, Unreal's real time global illumination system. There's now a high performance mode, and even a prototype 120Hz mode in the works. Lumen now runs even faster, and even runs on lower end hardware without sacrificing dynamic lighting, shadow maps, reflections, and lighting fidelity are all optimized and more polished. Meanwhile, Nanite is also getting major boosts. Foliage like trees and plants now work way better with Nanite, including decals and translucent materials. That means dense forests, realistic leaves, and beautiful lighting all work in harmony at high frame rates. Load your world with tens of thousands of high detailed trees and Unreal will keep performance rock solid. So instead of obsessing over optimization tricks, you can spend more time actually building your dream world. Performance is no longer the ceiling. 5.6 opens the door to bigger battles, richer scenes, and smoother experiences. Next, let's talk animation. Because Unreal 5.6 brings what Epic is calling their most powerful animation update ever. The big addition? A unified animation framework, also known as Anim Next. This is the future of animation in Unreal, a system where all animation tools work together seamlessly. Eventually, it may even replace animation blueprints with something faster, cleaner, and easier to use. Why is this exciting? It means fewer bugs, less spaghetti logic, and faster iteration, creating complex character behavior all in one place, no more converting blueprints to C++ or bouncing between systems. Even right now, in 5.6, the improvements are real. You can now run a physics simulation alongside a skeletal animation, giving you a free secondary motion. A character's ponytail, jacket, or antenna will automatically sway and react as they move. No hand animation needed. It's like having a built-in animation assistant adding lifelike detail in real time. And for storytellers, 5.6 brings a branching dialogue system right into Sequencer. That means you can build cinematic cutscenes that respond to players' choices. No more hacking it together with external tools. It's perfect for RPGs, interactive stories, or any game with a dialogue-driven gameplay. You can quickly prototype the scenes with different outcomes, facial expressions, and camera angles. Other animation features include improved motion matching for AI characters, a simplified timeline, and tools between tween, motion trails, and squash and stretch deformers. Even the gameplay camera system is now in beta, making cinematic cameras easier to create and control. So whether you're an animator or a gameplay designer, Unreal's animation system just got a huge upgrade and it's waiting for you to check it out. Another huge change is the MetaHuman Creator. It's now built right into the engine. If you love making digital humans or trying to create clones of yourself, this one's going to blow your mind. MetaHuman Creator is now fully integrated inside Unreal Engine. That's right, no more switching between the browser and the engine. You can now create, customize, and sculpt MetaHumans right in the viewport. Need your character to be taller? Change your face? Adjust the body type? It's all done live, in the editor, with immediate feedback. No round tripping or guesswork. And thanks to improved visual fidelity, your metahumans will look even more realistic under Unreal's lighting. This isn't just convenient, it's empowering to creators. Indie devs can now generate diverse and believable characters without needing a pipeline or external tools. And for the pros, the real life iteration lets you sculpt in context with your scene, saving hours in the creative process. And on top of that, MetaHuman Animator has been streamlined. You can now use facial capture video and map it to your character all within Unreal. Imagine recording your face talking and instantly seeing your character replicate your facial performance. You can tweak, re-record, and iterate all without leaving the engine. This puts a high-end character factory into the developer's hands and opens the door to more lifelike characters, faster storytelling, and even real-life digital actors. 
Personally, my favorite part of the update and one of the most exciting additions in UE 5.6 is the eight brand new game templates to help you hit the ground running. These aren't just basic projects. They're actually fully playable prototypes that let you iterate over and build the game of your dreams. Let's check a few of them out. A racing game template with a Mario Kart style vehicle, track, and arcade physics right out of the box. A 3D platformer with jump, double jump, mid-air dash, all the mechanics of a polished platformer ready to go. A top-down shooter, a top-down action RPG, perfect for making dungeon crawlers and hack and slash games, or a twin stick shooter. A first person horror template with flashlight mechanics, dark lighting, and spooky atmosphere pre-built. An arena FPS like Quake with fast movement and weapons ready to use. And an over the shoulder action comlet template, great for third person melee games like God of War. These templates are perfect for prototyping, learning, or just building fast. Use them as is or rip them apart to learn how each system is made, and this will only help you in your unreal journey. Epic is basically saying, here's the genre foundation, go make something awesome. Another big update is procedural worlds are made easier. If you're a world builder, you'll love this. Unreal 5.6 brings huge upgrades to procedural generation. The procedural content generation system, or PCG, is more powerful than ever. One standout feature, Mega World Biomes. These are ready-made environment templates, forests, desert, swamps, with, and the system populates it with trees, rocks, and foliages, and roads, whatever else is in the pack. You get a full, natural-looking biome in seconds. It's like having a smart level designer assistant help you filling out the huge worlds without manual labor. There's also a new GPU accelerated grass generation system. You can cover vast fields with millions of blades of grass and still keep your high frame rate. Just set the rules and let Unreal do the rest. These tools make building large, rich, detailed worlds faster and easier than before. Perfect for open world games, roguelikes, and sandbox maps, or even cinematics. Finally, let's talk workflow. Unreal 5.6 introduces Content Browser 2.0, a redesigned way to manage your assets. It's faster, cleaner, and easier to use, with better search, filtering, and previews. If you work on big projects with lots of materials, meshes, or blueprints, this is a game changer for you. The Viewport Toolbar has also been reorganized for a smoother experience. It's more logical, customizable, and gets common tools closer to your fingertips. Less clicking, more creating. Unreal also squashed a bunch of long-standing bugs and performance issues, and the editor feels more stable and responsive, especially in large, complex scenes. It's the little things that make the biggest difference when you're on your editor every day. So there you have it. Unreal Engine 5.6 is a monster of an update. We've got next-level performance boosts, a rebuilt animation system, metahumans in the editor, genre-ready game templates, smarter world-building tools, and smoother workflows. Whether you're a solo dev or part of a large team, Unreal 5.6 helps you create more, create faster, create better. It lowers the barrier for beginners and raises the ceiling for veterans. And this is just a start. 5.7 and beyond are on the horizon. And if you're excited as I am, download 5.6 Preview today and test out the new features and start building. This isn't just an update, it's a step forward for real-time creation in the 3D world. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any comments or what you're most excited for. And always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Unreal content.